So in this tutorial, we're going to use After Effects shapes to create this particle effect. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to create a new composition, 1280 by 720, 25 frames a second, and the duration is six seconds. So next, I'm going to create a text object. I'm going to type quick the effects. And so if anyone wants to know, I'm using the space age font. And I'm just going to click away. I'm going to click Y to move the anchor point. And then I'm going to hold down control so it snaps to the center. I'm just going to hit V to go back to the select tool. I'm just going to hit control home to kind of center this in the composition. So next I'm going to right click and go to create shapes from text. So that basically hides this text layer and then it creates a new shape layer. And if we just open it up in contents, we have every single letter as a mask path. So I'm just going to select all these letters holding down shift. And then instead of choosing a color, I'm going to actually click this fill text here, not the color, the text. And I'm going to choose none. So it's basically just empty paths now. Next, I'm going to click on the layer, go to add, and I'm going to choose group just to kind of organize these letters. So I'm just going to hit enter and call it letters. I'm then going to shift select all these letters and just kind of drag and drop them in there. If you open it up, we should have all our letters. The reason for this is I can basically add a global kind of stroke to control uh, the stroke width of all the letters at the same time. So I'm just going to click on the layer. I'm going to go to add stroke. Make sure it's below letters. Uh, basically After Effects executes kind of top to bottom. So um, I'm going to change the stroke to maybe width 3 and I'm going to make it a kind of nice electric blue Tron color. A bit brighter maybe. Okay. So next um, I'm going to add a repeater. I'm just going to click on the layer, add repeater just to make sure it goes in the root and not inside the stroke or the letters. Um, so that's our repeater. And I'm just going to adjust this. I'm basically trying to get a kind of uh, twirly kind of rotation effect. I'm going to increase the copies to maybe about 35. And I'm going to open up transform repeater. And I'm just going to fiddle with these kind of offsets now. Let's have a look. So that's X, Y, and then I'm going to unlink scale. I'm going to fiddle with rotation maybe. I'm just going to zoom out or uh, move that up to there. And it's quite sensitive. Um, like small changes make a huge difference, I've noticed. And especially position, it's a pretty tricky one. Um, yeah, we can get all kinds of cool stuff. Might rotate in that way actually, but I think this way makes more sense. Uh, it's strange, increasing the copies after a certain threshold doesn't seem to make much of a difference. The copies basically carry on into the distance. Um, just trying to find a nice kind of effect. It's very sensitive. But uh, don't uh, follow my settings off by heart. I mean, just kind of try and come up with your own kind of slightly different version of it. And end opacity, zero. I think we could get away with less copies. About, yeah, 14 even. Uh, still not really happy with this, but we can just leave it because we can always just come back to this to edit it. I'm just going to go back to the stroke now. And I'm going to open it up. You'll notice we have this dashes parameter and nothing in it. For some reason, we have to click this plus and it gives us two properties. Pulling this, um, sorry, I'm just gonna click here. Just, just by pulling this dash slider, we can actually make a cool kind of Tron effect. I'm just gonna turn off the repeater to show you what I mean. That's uh, two tutorials in one, basically. So I'm just gonna hit Control Shift H to hide the kind of mask paths and control handles and all that. And okay, if, watch if I just animate this dash. It basically creates this very cool kind of line animation effect. 
just by moving the slider. So uh, that's a kind of pretty cool effect already. But um, I'm going to set this to zero and I'm going to hit the plus sign again and that gives us a gap property. Um, I'm just going to turn the repeater back on. And for some reason it's disappeared. Strange. What did I just do? Hmm, sorry. Uh, looks like a, the dash shouldn't be zero. Okay, that's interesting. But um, by fiddling with dash and gap, you can basically get a, kind of a particle effect like this. Uh, you don't have to fiddle with offset, I don't think. But um, yeah, um, you want to choose line cap, round cap. That way you get kind of circles instead of um, kind of jagged edges. I think that might have been the problem. So yeah, if I move uh, dash down to zero, now we can actually still uh, see the particles. So I'm just going to make them kind of about there maybe. Now the next step is basically just to animate this. So I'm just going to go to the two main animation parameters are going to be copies and offset. So let's have a look at offsets. I'm just going to create a keyframe just there and then we can basically kind of animate this in. It's pretty cool. So this is actually the start position. So that should be over here. I'm just going to swap them around. And yeah, so you want to animate from about, I don't know, 16 to zero. It's kind of going towards zero, basically. So that's a, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. And at the same time, uh, you want to kind of reduce copies when you get to about here. So I'm just going to click a keyframe. And then by the time it stops, it's just a, uh, one copy like that so the copy is going to start trailing off towards the end so that's almost pretty much it I'm just gonna duplicate this entire uh, shape layer control D command D and in here I'm basically this is just gonna be one copy so I'm just gonna open it up it should be an exact duplicate I'm gonna go to repeater and I'm just gonna turn off the stopwatch so it's just like there's no animation and the offset I'm just going to leave as is and in stroke I'm going to get rid of that um, gaps I'm just going to make it a solid so we can basically now this layer is kind of attached to the uh, particle animation it's basically the same animation except it just doesn't have these copies and it's solid but it's moving in the exact same way so you can already see the kind of potential uh, if you found this tutorial useful, please share it and thanks for watching.